I felt like when I read the script, I was like, this is not a story I've ever seen before, which is it's not rape as um, a plot device or a revenge story or something to make the character seem like edgier and more interesting. It's about just what is the aftermath? What is that like? What is it like to have sex with your part with your boyfriend for the first time after you've been assaulted? What's it like to if your boyfriend starts becoming the perfect boyfriend all of a sudden and giving you breakfast in bed and staying home from work and being there and it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this new version? I just want the regular, you know, my life back. So it's about a couple navigating that. And it's about, you know, and I had never seen that before. So that felt really emotionally intelligent to me. And um, and just felt very, very honest. She had done a bunch of research and, and you know, this the, the writer directed this had happened to a friend of hers. So... And, it, you know, it happens to a lot of people and affects a lot of people. Yeah. And, you know, and men are the ones doing it for the most part. So it's also right now in this moment after Harvey Weinstein and everything, I think there's an opportunity for a conversation about, okay, so what's going on with us, with guys in the culture? Um, is there something in our culture that says men have to be dominant, in control, strong? Mm. And then that's also connected to violence. Mm. That's a lot of the ways we see dominance displayed and then we have we see that spilling over into you know into violence against women so how does that connect to just like sexism misogyny calling someone you know cat calling someone on the street all these like little much smaller things but you know there was a scene that was cut where she gets cat called and it's sort of like you know there's a lot of guys would say like hey i'm being nice you know and some women occasionally you know might say hey th that was a nice interaction but a lot of times it's not and you don't know who you're talking to mm. when, you, when you call out someone on the street. You don't know what, what they've been through. or you, know, you could be talking to someone who's a survivor of assault. So then you know, it, it, it's kind of how do we as men sort of ask each other to think critically and sort of take a leadership role in saying, hey, you know, that's not cool, yeah. which is not easy to do. To